no, 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 no. Block this off, block this off, block this off, block this off, block this off. <laughs> oh man. Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft with Greco. Well, the solo adventure we're doing. And I bet you can tell we're in a completely different location. I will get to that in a minute. But first of all, uh, as I was recording this episode, I ended up getting recording error, which means everything you guys will see is... I mean, I recorded the first part, but that all got erased because it didn't get saved for some, whatever reason, and I cannot recover it. So sadly, you don't get to see my first impressions with this re with this texture pack. But let's start with the texture pack. It's the default texture pack, but everything's a little detailed, more a little more or less 3D, which is super nice. But let's go ahead and take a look into our little. Oh, this is our little base for now, and I'll explain why we have a base. But here's a little campfire. Here's a little horsey. I think I'm going to call it Storm. Off, you know, from The Legend of Zelda. Here's a little farm. So you can already see the textures. Everything is really... It looks really nice, though. I really like this texture pack. I mean, it's not a big change. It's just minor little details. But it looks nice. Anyway. So we came over here to this swamp. After, I kid you not, spending about doesn't match that does why does this one not match over here huh anyway so I ended up looking forever to find a swamp just so I can make a lead so I could tie the horse down can you even see his lead well he has one which is a point he has a lead I also found a donkey and I wanted to tie him down as well so I had to go find slime and I know slime spawns in the swamps, but it took me forever to find one. Anyway, long story short, I found a cave. And that cave has a massive ravine, which you guys will see here in a minute. But, like I said, the first time I was recording all of this, I had the first impression with all the textures and everything. Which was really, really nice, but it didn't get saved. The audio did, but the actual gameplay didn't. So what I wanted to get to is that we found 15 diamonds. Which I was really excited about. Because, you know, it's diamond. 15 of them. It's just super exciting. We also found some golden apples. Here We have an enchanted one with us right now. Oh, and a bunch of gold and a ton of redstone. Let's see, yeah, see two golden apples. And, yeah, I think it might have been it. I'm going to go ahead and plop some of this stuff in here. Because I know I don't need it right now. Oh, you guys will see while you're at the music discs here in a second. Didn't get recorded, which is a real bummer, but I'm going to go ahead and get into the cave before it gets dark. Oh, and by the way, I did find the slime. Anyway, just look at the, check out this. Ooh, little details, right? Anyway, oh, I really like the way the ores look, just so you guys can actually see that up close. Just pop out a little. Now, I did find the slimes that I was going to use for the leads, which... I know we have them now, and I was just going to head back and then start the next episode. But we found this bad boy. This massive bad boy. And cooler still, let well, me get down. Cooler still, we found this mine shaft, which is actually where we found all the diamonds. Now, I, like I said, not everything, well, it all got deleted, sadly. So you guys don't get to see everything that we did find. But we did find the diamond. Well, diamonds, 15 of them. That mob spawner. And let's see, we were over this way before it decided to cut off on me. But I've been blocking off all the routes I've already gone to, so I know not to go that way. Oh, and then there was this area. There's flowers over there, which I thought was which I thought was super cool, so I kept those flowers. There was lava there and that got put out. Anyway, let's see, we are over little more oh here we are okay so as i was exploring i came over to this area to see if it was a dead end as i've been doing with all of them and i found a mob spawner here i found a bunch of stuff most of all the good stuff i took up to the surface this is a zombie spawner right armored huh i thought it was just regular zombies anyway so we found this spot right 
and then we kept exploring and exploring I was gonna I haven't gone up there Wow and with this part we, we saw we explored that but over here we came this way just lap is here well, the way I'm doing this I kind of make scout everything out before I start mining but we came here and we found another one which is nice and this is where we found the saddle and the horse armor which you know it's cool but anyway this is where it ended before I decided to go back up to the surface to put everything away so let's continue our adventure Uh, ton of rats. Anyway, so I didn't really, I don't remember what I talked about until when I did the original recording. Other than I do know I mentioned that we would be relocating where our character lives. Oh man. There we go. Okay. We are going to relo be relocating. Ooh, look, more diamonds. Sweet. Man. Haha. <laughs> I think I have enough diamonds I might be willing to possibly, maybe, but not entirely, make some armor. I do want to save a total of 5 diamonds though. How many is that? 8, eight plus 15 would put us at 23. Right? Uh, I think that's right. I'm going to say that's right. If it's not, let me know in the comment section because uh, it's embarrassing if I don't know that. But. Anything good over here? Let's go over this way. Uh, okay, no, it's because I want to save five diamonds for the to make an enchanting table, and I also, and in order to do that, I need a pickaxe because I need to mine up some obsidian. So I need three for the pickaxe and then two for the actual table. There's stuff over here. <gasps> Redstone. Anyway. So with that in mind, I think that still leaves me with at least 17. Should I make armor? Would it be worth it? Huh. I don't know. I haven't fully decided yet, but... When I do, I let you all know. Okay, that should be fine. I don't think I see anything of value over here. Okay, let's get this stuff. As I was scouting out for the swamp, you know, I needed somewhere to find slime. I ooh. I did come across some really pretty locations, which I wouldn't mind building a house in. over here huh that's nice oh, wait some really pretty locations where I feel like building a house would be really nice but uh, it's gonna be a massive project because I don't really want it to be an itty bitty house it's basically gonna be our permanent base until we decide to move yet again but as you guys remember I don't know if I did say this in that episode where I was building the first house that was just gonna be temporary until we decided to build our actual house. After which, I'd be building the big house and, you know, we'd be calling it good. But, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what style to do. Because part of me wants to go with the rustic style, because I feel like that's really popular. And I've been experimenting. Ooh, look. Sweet. S top this off. What's this one? Skeletons, nice. See, anyway, I've been experimenting with the rustic style houses, and I honestly, I really like them. What's this? Gunpowder, sweet. Yeah. All right. Oh, look, even diamond up top. I like this place. The problem that I have with them is that I have no scaffolding. Why is that a problem? I don't hear you asking. <laughs> well. Well, I'm going to keep this place open because so I can come farm that later if I can figure out how to do that. But the roof for the rustic style house is 
kind of complicated. I mean, it's really steep, at least the designs I've ooh, I've come up with. So it's not exactly something I want to be building just willy-nilly. I need something to help get me around, well, everything. Or else I won't really be able to build the a house, which is then a problem because, you know, we need a house. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Are we good? Hey, look, he uncovered iron. Nice. Oh, I should probably light this place up. What's up, Bender dude? Man, the, I just found a massive cave system, didn't I? You know what? Where's the bucket of water I have? There we go. Right here. Bam. And let's pick it up. Huh, that's funny. I didn't know that it just <gasps> changed into whatever water you picked up from. Like, I picked it up from the swamp, and it's still swamp water. That's, that's nice. Okay. But at the same time, like, I really like the modern houses. Just from their standpoint, kind of minimalist, but it still looks really nice. And, I don't know. Honestly, I just don't know. I, I do want to go with a rustic style, just because it seems more fitting for Minecraft. But at the same time, I want to go with modern, just because I like that style. Uh, I just really don't know which way to go. Yeah. So I don't really know too many styles. I mean, I could build another simple house. And I am out of torches. Do I have any coal? I don't. Oh yeah, I could build different styles, you know? The thing is that I like those two styles the most so far. Because I just barely started experimenting with rustic. And if you don't know what rustic is, I'll try to put up a screenshot so you guys can see it. But I, I don't know if I will. If I can or not. If I will. If I can. It's more appropriate of a term. Uh, gold. Uh, okay. Let's head back. I might end up going rustic, honestly. Just because I recently started playing around with that and I do like how it looks. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. You know what? Actually, no, 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 no. no. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay. I really feel the rustic style though right now. I feel like that one would be nice. I'm not gonna go there here. I think I'm not gonna find. Well, I'm gonna find a lot of good stuff probably. I just don't wanna have to deal with it right now. Because I already have a ton of stuff I gotta carry back to my uh, main base. And from there. I gotta decide if I'm gonna build a house the next episode, or because I actually found. Hold on. Let's see down. Die, there you go. I actually found a little something while I was out exploring, which I thought would be make for a really good episode. And depending on how long it takes me to clear everything here, I might go do that after I drop everything off at home. But I figured it'd make for a great episode. And hopefully you guys will see what I mean when the next episode comes out. But after that is when I plan on moving. Where to? I don't fully know. I just know that it's probably, honestly, it might just be time for us to find somewhere else to move away from the village. Okay. Nothing behind this guy. Okay. Right there. Alright. Anything good here? 
<gasps> Another spawn. And we are finding everything. I'm going to go away from that for a minute. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. 16. Let's go and tame ourselves yet another mob spawner. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you holding... Oh, you're holding rotten flesh. I thought you were holding weep for a second. Man, I still got to get used to these textures. Okay. A little bit more. There you go. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? All right. You know, I have been enjoying this little trip. I'm kind of glad I waited to show you guys. Oh, no, 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 no. I have three hearts left. No, no, no. Ugh. I mean, you guys missed quite a few things because there was a moment when I was just mining and I got bombarded by a, just a freaking a pack of zombies. They all just came out the ceiling and that was terrifying. Oh no. I mean, on the. Wait, do I not have room for more coal? Away with the andesite. And. No. Oh my gosh, we're gonna die. We are gonna die. We are gonna die. We are gonna die. We're alive! Sweet. And we found our. Oh no. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, that thing did like nothing. Bam, sweet. I am getting good at the skeleton killing the stuff. Did I just see more diamond? Nope, I'm just imagining stuff. Alright. Huh. You know, with this much redstone, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Let's make even. Uh, no, we just need. Coal. Lots and lots of coal. Let's see. And 16. Sweet. I have an. Okay, yeah, I have an extra diamond sword, so I don't care too much. Alright, and boom, 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 boom. Okay. I'm gonna go see what's up there, and then maybe I will mine everything over here. Is that dirt? Yep, that's dirt. Is this that. No, this is a different ravine, right? I think it is. Oh gosh, I almost killed myself. And we. Are... Ow. Jerk. There you go. Bam. Is that a critical? <gasps> Is that how you know? Alright, let's see. Over here, more, more. Nothing. Okay. So we are going to close you off. And check over here. <gasps> Check it out. Oh no. Oh, okay, we have a little bit left. Oh man. Let's pour some water in. Okay, come on. I have a plan. No, up there. Yes. Okay, now none of them should spawn. And let's pick that up. And just go to town. Yeah. Sweet. And plop, 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 and plop. And I'm just going to break all this and take it with me. Oh, man. I think we found like the mother load of all spawn caves. I cannot tell you how much stuff I have found in these caves. Just that it is a ton. Ooh, golden armor. Let's see. Cat, cat, cat. I already have one cat. Two cats. 
three cats, four. Okay, I only need one. But let's. Okay, I already have a ton of zombie spawners, like their locations. So let's do this and. No, 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 no. Block this off, block this off, block this off, block this off, block this off. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, okay. I am done with that. So I'm going to go ahead and head back. Wait, maybe. Oh, have I gone through here? No, I have not. Bam, bam, bam. Wait, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, there's nothing there. What the heck? Alright, so I am gonna go ahead and head back after I mind everything on my way. And I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, we are now back at base. And honestly, just because the cave seems insanely massive, I think I'm gonna just leave this outpost here and come back to it whenever I feel like we need resources because it's honestly gigantic see I spent a good two hours exploring that well, I think it was about two hours before I started recording and then while recording I went in for about two hours including you know, the time that I was showing you guys and I feel like I haven't covered anywhere near let's put this out for a second anywhere near the amount well, anywhere near the total size of the cave. So, I'm going to start packing things up, and I will show you guys how far I came to find this place. Oh, after a solid 20 minutes of preparing everything, here's what I'm taking with me. Like, actually taking with me. I had to turn a lot of the gold. Well, I don't know if I need to turn the gold. But the iron I definitely had to, the lapis I had to, and the redstone I had to turn into blocks to make it easier to transport them. Oh, and I forgot to say, I got two enchanted golden apples from the dungeon, so hooray! But anyway, oh man, I still have a ton of stuff I need to take with me. So hopefully it... Oh, it's nighttime. I'll tell you guys in the morning. Alright, so hopefully... My donkey didn't despawn, because if it did, then I am, hold on, something worth burning, yeah, might as well, screw it, let's go, bam, and bam, okay, because if it did, I'm going to have to make like three trips to get everything home, uh, that said, Uh, let's start the first of many. Okay. So, oh, man. Uh, I know I gotta head that way. So let's try to loop around and get the mountains. I will say, I'm kind of disappointed with the speed of the horses. I felt like they used to be a lot faster. Wait, which way am I going? That way. Okay. Well, I feel like they used to be a lot faster than they are now, which is disappointing, but I mean, I kind of get it. You don't want it to be too overpowered with their, with their, uh, with how fast they are, because if they're too fast, then it kind of, what's that over there? Nothing? Okay. If you say so. Where's the lead? Wait, where's the lead? Oh my gosh, did that... Re oh, there it is, okay. Alright, so... Where was it? Okay. Oh yeah, so, I don't know, I was kind of disappointed with the speed of the horses. I felt like they were, should have... Like, they should be a lot faster than this. At least faster than the player runs. I feel like this is about as fast as the player runs, which... To me, is kind of disappointing. 
but I don't know. I'm not the one who made this. It could just be that my my horse isn't that fast, and there's other faster horses. But I don't know. You never know. Let's go into third person. Makes this a lot easier. All right. So as we travel back, you guys are probably going to see a village. That is where I got the bed to make my base because at the time when I first had got there I actually made a bunker a little underground bunker and that was where I spent spent the nights once I decided I was gonna show you guys the cave system that's when I made that little area that you guys actually saw which I was, I'm really proud of it I mean it's little it's not like wildly impressive but no, I'm proud of it I mean I put the time and effort into it of course I'm proud of it oh no oh no okay oh man get ready because this trip is quite a ways out I mean quite a ways anyway I believe that from those mountains that's yeah that's exactly where I came from I gotta head this way I prefer to travel through the top here okay all right now let's do the time lapse never mind <laughs> I saw a puppy and I decided he needed to be mine Come back here. Dude, I have all the bones in the world. There we go. Yeah, we got ourselves a puppy. And now we can travel. Right, so this is the village I was telling you guys about. It's small, but honestly, I, I mean, I liked it. I found it quite a bit on this trip here. It's just this one though besides this one there is literally nothing for miles all right back to the okay now i think this time it's gonna be for real sorry so that stuff kept coming up but this time the time lapse is for real So, uh, bad news, I don't know what's going on, because I don't remember this being here. Was it? Man, I really cannot remember. I really want to say this was not I really don't remember any of this did everything change up is that a thing in Minecraft now okay see now that that seems a little more familiar but anything else uh, no maybe it's this way Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I feel like we're close. I feel like that was somewhere near where we lived. Right? Please tell me yes. And wait, this actually seems familiar. Oh no, not anymore. I'm beginning to lose hope. I thought the desert would be a good sign, but I'm not taking it to mean good things. Oh, <gasps> I found it. Yes. <laughs> Woo! All right. There is our outpost. Ugh. Hopefully the donkey is still there though, because that's the one thing I'm really worried about, is having lost our donkey. Day. He's here! Yes! Woo! Alright. So before we say goodbye to the camera. Donkey, any words? Donkey. Any words? No? Wow. Well, but we have our donkey! Well, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to find out what we do next. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.